Corruption is not something that is a single instance. It's not a single person lying to somebody else or committing fraud or doing a criminal act. It's a systemic undermining of these ideas, of these norms that we have. It seems at least that we have a collective understanding of the need to fight corruption. So in some ways we don't have to spend more money and effort on this generic idea of letting society know about corruption. That's what they know and what we all know. The question is really how do we take that energy and that frustration that exists and turn it into something positive? How do we turn that constructive so that journalists can do a better job investigating, so that authorities can do a better job in following up and implementing investigations and holding bad actors to account? And how can we as civil society prop up that space so that we can bolster that ecosystem in its totality. Hack Corruption is a program designed to bring technologists, civil society practitioners, academics and researchers to come together to create uncommon solutions to common corruption challenges. We do this by creating regional hackathons to essentially build multi-dimensional teams of people working on common corruption challenges. And then we try to surface the most feasible ideas that in the next couple of years can really make a regional or country level difference in turning the dial back on corruption. Right now, as of today, there is no information sharing between public procurement agencies. This is one of the problems that we will tackle. We are aggregating data coming from different countries and we are presenting this integrated information for you to do your work as a journalist, as an academic, as a government official or as a private sector. Our website tracks the budget from the parliament level to the local level. It's a combination of a data repository as well as like an engagement platform for not just students but uh, other stakeholders as well. The heart of Hack Corruption is really building these multi-dimensional teams where technologists can work with people who will actually use the systems to build something that has a utility. In the world, public procurement always prone to corruption. Governments every day purchase goods, purchase services, any kind of construction works. So large amount of money goes through procurement. So we are going to audit contracts and find out the governance gaps. Uh, we're building an AI chatbot for uh, journalists and NGOs to be able to explore and understand better public procurement, but also communicate uh, potential red flags in open contracting so they can uh, leverage citizen power and make a change in society to improve public spending. Data by itself doesn't mean anything unless you tell a story around the data. We have data visualizations, we have storytelling, and now we have chatbots. We help a procurement officer to do a background check and due diligence through data of sanction, blacklist, and court decision. What we're trying to do is create a platform in which provides expert oversight to ensure that we have another eye looking into these public procurement projects. A tech tool in and of itself doesn't solve the problem. It's analysis, it's activism, it's policy change, and those things need different skill sets. And so ultimately building these new networks enables us to bring people from these different skill sets together.